Now to new developments on a robbery at a Volusia County gas station. A former deputy is a suspect, and tonight a woman who says she saw the robbery unfold right in front of her describes her ordeal. Deputies say this began when the former deputy robbed the Circle K on the corner of LPGA and Clyde Morris Boulevards in Daytona Beach. That's where we find News 6 reporter Troy Campbell. He joins us now live. So, Troy, you talked with that witness. What did she tell you? Yeah, that's the gas station right behind me here in Daytona Beach. Law enforcement says that retired sheriff's deputy demanded cash and then led them on a high speed chase. Now, we did speak to the woman who was standing directly behind that former officer in the checkout line, and here is what she says all happened. So I was like, oh man, what am I experiencing today on Thanksgiving? You're supposed to be thankful. It was Thursday evening when Shoshelle Christian says she pulled up to the Circle K in Daytona Beach to fill up on gas. Christian says once inside, she saw this man, retired Flagler County Sheriff's Deputy Daniel Rudell, holding a handful of items listed here on this receipt. So she offered to help. His response was, no, I don't need help. He was just trying to help and just get out of there. He was like, no, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. And he just left out the door. The clerk then told other customers in the store, 45-year-old Riddell demanded cash before running out the door. The man was like, I just got robbed. The man like that just went out the store. He just robbed me of this, that, and other. I said, oh, no. What followed? A high-speed pursuit stretching three counties. Officers opening fire on the former sheriff's deputy's truck after investigators say he attempted to run over an officer. His vehicle finally coming to a stop in St. John's County after a pit maneuver. I know he don't want to get caught, but... You are ex cop. You know the duties of everything. You know you're going to get caught in eventually in the end. And now we're also told that an employee of the Dunkin' Donuts here that's attached to the gas station ran out into the parking lot after the robbery, attempted to write down uh, Riddell's license plate tag, but said that the former officer had his plate covered before he even pulled into this parking lot. Also, the Daytona Beach Police Department telling us they're not releasing the surveillance video from inside, saying it is all a part of their ongoing investigation. Back to you. All right, Troy Campbell reporting live tonight. Thank you.